Hey everyone, I just wanted to put this short video together explaining how I shot and edited the recent cover of Don't Give Up On Me that I uploaded to my channel. I hope you find this video useful. So this is the Laser OS, and it's made by Wicked Lasers, and it's definitely the most advanced laser system I've pretty much ever seen. And you can do almost, I want to say everything, it can't like clean your floor or anything, but like you can do a lot of laser related things with it, like you can have it react to music with visualizations, you can play games on it, you can set it to display a clock, you can get it to show text, you can draw things, you can engrave things, it's got a MIDI mode as well which you saw in the video from earlier, it's got a laser harp, you can also pop balloons and then there's just so much more you can do with it as well. I'm now two weeks on from initially unboxing this thing and I'm still discovering things about this thing, even today. Now the laser OS essentially has what's called an effective area. So I've outlined that at the moment so you can see basically where it's going to project onto. So it's just sitting up there at the moment. And uh, basically the way I did the laser visualizer part without obviously it touching the main launch pads is I have this thing called an attenuation zone, which is this little area and I've selected around the launch pad or the launch pads, whatever. And uh, essentially that means that if the laser ever goes in that area, it will completely turn off. So that's how I managed to get it to pretty much just avoid the launch pads. So, when I go onto the rave mode and select the uh, spectrum, like Synthesia for example, and then use the, what was it? It was the warp square effect, that's the one. Um, essentially allows it to have a fancy visualizer which actually reacts to my launchpad key presses by the way and uh, yeah that's pretty much how it works it's it's kind of cool it works on it works on every button as well so it's just reacting to all the sound that's coming out of Ableton I've got my sound output remapped as my sound input again so the sound input is then being detected by the laser OS and then, yeah, makes it into that fancy visualizer thing. So what I'm doing here is I'm filming the balloon scene and essentially the way I've managed to get all the balloons to pop is by using the laser OS to lock onto each one of the individual balloons and then it goes through individually and it snipes them out and I've just I've just retimed the video so that it fits with the song. So basically it can pop balloons which let's be honest that's 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 pretty damn cool. So I've just finished recording the launch key section and essentially how this works is the laser OS has a MIDI mode and it enables you to connect any sort of MIDI input like this. So I've just got it connected so that it corresponds to whatever note I play. and it will stay if I hold the note, and then, yeah, it just essentially works like that. So I've got the laser OS mounted there, camera looking up above it, and yeah, that's how I film this section. So I figured I'd shoot some behind the scenes stuff to kind of show you just how the laser harp works. What I've essentially got here is my camera shooting me against this black background, and then the laser harp down here is shooting laser beams up onto the ceiling like that. And then down there, I've got a little camera looking up and detecting whenever one of the dots gets blocked. So for example, when I cover one of the beams, it can detect that that dot is now missing. And it sends a MIDI signal to Ableton, and I'm just using Silent from Serum to pick up the signal. Because it's just a MIDI signal, it's, it's nothing fancy, but within the software itself, it's actually able to detect the beam and then change the colour. This is definitely one of the coolest MIDI controllers I think I've ever seen, actually. I mean, it's not exclusively a MIDI controller, but you can use it in that way. And in the same way as a launch pad, actually, you can sample out onto it and pretty much play anything you like, really. So here's how I did that final part of the video. It's just the laser OS just projecting a little rain animation down over the launch pads. And then I had a, uh, a little, you know, end light that was appropriate for what I was doing. And yeah, that's pretty much how I filmed all of this.